Well, thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Does anyone have any uh, uh, questions for uh, Kia? Ms. Ryan. Hi, yes, Mr. Chairman. Yes. I, I've got uh, not really a question, a statement, because she, uh, Mrs. Kia was referring to Leobor, but everything she was talking about was accountability. And I don't know if she realizes that Leobor has nothing to do with the accountability. Leobor comes in to, into play after the fact. Uh, after a complaint's been made and an officer has been charged. Now, she's talking about a case that they are investigating right now. It hasn't even been concluded, and a formal investigation is going on. Um, and she relates that to Leobor, which, again, has nothing to do with it. But I think you know, we're talking two different things here. Doesn't Leobor have... Um some sexual disciplinary actions for police officers who are under investigation? They have. What happens with Leobor, it comes into effect after the officer has been charged. Yes, and it makes it difficult, and nothing ends up happening to the police officers. It makes it harder for police officers to be fired. They have to be convicted of a felony, and then nothing ever happens after that. Investigations get stalled. Nothing happens. Well, if they're convicted of a felony, then that is that they're, all valid, right? they're all valid. But police officers use Leobor as a, as a safeguard. They invoke Leobor for what? Because they know that they're protected by it. They know that they're still going to be able to get out and do a paid leave, vacations, and they can still do whatever they want to do. Nothing ends up happening after that. Well, we, we we appreciate you. We appreciate your testimony and 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 the, the you know the key points you know the key points that uh, were made out you know uh, constability what what stage things take place. I I think one of the uh, the biggest takeaways for me, in addition to some of the, uh, the you know some of the things that you went through in your own personal life, and from a community perspective, is we need a system that's fair and that's going to bring trust because right now right now as you talk about because i i know uh, uh mr gonzalez i know his father well and um because i serve on a couple of other community boards with him and we have to be able to build trust and and that's one of the that's one of the things the the people on the on the commission and and everybody we're trying to bring balance to the system and and it's my hope, it's my hope that what we do is to have a system in place where we protect, where we protect the uh, the good officers, and we can and and uh, the chiefs have the ability to discipline uh, the people that need to be disciplined and to fire those that need to be fired, and 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 and, and so there there does need to be some type of uh, uh, accountability. And then we have to be able to build the trust that you're talking about, because right now, uh, right now, the way the way things are going, we we, I'm, I'm, it's it's my prayer, and I pray about this at night, that we don't get so polarized on either side that we can't come together and sit down and find the common ground, whether it was uh, the, the public defender's office talking about transparency, we talked about a lot of things. The, uh, the, the composition of the of the uh, the board and and how many days the chiefs can uh, allow to discipline someone. There's a lot of things that and even there's a lot of things that we discussed that go beyond even the scope of, of, of how uh, this legislation was drafted. And it's my hope that we can come together to come up with a system where we're all held accountable and that we can build trust. That we that we that we really need if we're going to have a, a civil society, but certainly representing uh, the the south side, Washington Park, the west side, and part of the east side all these years, and 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 no one was was taking place over the years. It's a work in progress. So I do appreciate your uh, testimony, 
and and for for what you had to share, what you've seen, the different community groups that you that you work with, and that's our goal. Our goal is to build, is to bring balance to the system, and so we're not there yet. And and so, but it was very important for me, and I appreciate you coming to testify because I think it was very very important that we heard the the perspective of the community because the community. We we have to we have to have uh, the community policing and, and building the trust between one another, and that's the that's the only way it's going to benefit everyone. So that that's my that's my goal. But again, I just want to say I appreciate your testimony uh, this afternoon, as it was most appreciated. Thank you. Any other comments for Miss uh, Bryant? Thank you again, Kia. For your night.